My husband and I have six kids. Four of them are his, and three of them are mine. If I make an educated guess, I think that probably half of the audience is thinking, wow, doesn't she know that four plus three is seven? And the, the other half is probably thinking, there's a story coming up. I can tell you this, yes, I do know that four plus three is seven. And yes, there's also a story coming up, and it's about accountability models. Speaking of models, who of you has ever wanted to be a model? <laughs> okay, I'll get back to that later. But first, let me explain to you why in my world, four plus three is actually six. It's all about context. I'll explain to you the context by telling you a story about a model I drew for my son when he was four years old and went to school for the first time. On his first school day, he discovered that there were actually kids who did not have two houses, which he thought was very funny. <laughs> a model, as we all know, is a simplified version of the real world, and it contains only those features that are of importance to the model maker's purpose. So I drew him two children who I brought into our family, and I also drew him three children who my husband brought into our family. And in between those children, I drew him Kato, our youngest daughter, who is obviously our number six, and to some of you, our number seven. So why am I telling you all this? Because in my experience, a lot of conclusions are based on facts and figures that miss context. And by missing the context, uh, we have a hard job reaching our goals. We all want to be successful successful in reaching our goals, whether they are personal, like being happy, or whether they're professional, like getting more profit. I believe that the key to being successful is accountability. However, there's a slight problem with accountability. It's, as we call, a plastic word. A plastic word is a weird word which can mean anything and nothing, and it's a word of which we say, oh yeah, I know what you mean, accountability. And in the meantime, we all interpret it differently. If you type difference between accountability and responsibility in Google, you will get, for instance, 56 million results. Well, you may question the meaning of numbers in the context, but that seems an awful lot. Responsibility and accountability are not the same, but they need each other. Accountability is about taking responsibility, acting responsible, and feeling responsible about the results. If you take accountability out of that context, you might end up with blameability. And that, of course, does not lead to the actual purpose of accountability, which is to do the right things and to do them right. During the last 10 years, I've worked a lot with communication professionals and communication departments and they are asked for their accountability many times. I think it's because of the economic or financial crisis that departments have to show their added value to the company goals. So what do these communication departments and professionals do, at least some of them? They start counting. They count the number of press releases they send out, they count the number of Facebook's like, Facebook likes, and they count the number of Twitter followers they have hoping the CEO would say, oh, wow, 15,000 Twitter followers. That's why we need 50 communication professionals. <laughs> In a worst case scenario, they even try to divide the number of Twitter followers by the number of communication professionals and benchmark those numbers with other companies. Of course, that's not what accountability is about. I would call that countability. Einstein already knew this. He said, not everything that can be counted counts, and not everything that counts can be counted. And we are rediscovering it. In 2010, I developed an accountability model. It's a model uh, which is in the context of the organization and isolates processes, people and department roles on a strategic, tactical and operational level. 
we do not ask our accountability questions in a way that we're going to count. So we do not ask how much or how many, but we focus on the why, the how, and the what. For instance, why do our customers uh, like our organizations? Uh, why are they interested in us? Um, how do we actually contribute to our goals? And what do we actually have to do then? And it works. I've seen a lot of organizations who act accountable and improve their quality. However, to many employees, accountability is not a word that automatically leads to enthusiasm. And that's why I think um, accountability models uh, go wrong. Because an organization is not a thing. An organization is about people. And if we look at the people who are trying to be accountable, I think that they could all use some more appeal. Appeal as in authenticity, professionalism, passion, empathy, acceptance and leadership. Authenticity, about authenticity. We all know that there are organizations uh, that promise you one thing and act in another way. And also people, still delivering reports, showing great results. I don't think that those organiz organizations are accountable, at least not socially accountable. Um, to be accountable, you have to be authentic. The P is for, for professionalism. Acting professional leads to uh, improvement of quality and leads to efficiency. And um, professionalism is about doing research, uh, base your actions upon research, and even try to communicate effectively about your findings. And here's a tip. Please don't be afraid of the CEO. I know a lot of organizations in which in which the employees tend to do what they think uh, the CEO wants without asking any further questions. I know a lot of CEOs, one of them living in my street even, and I can tell you this, they are quite normal people. <laughs> they greet, ask how you're doing, uh, actually respond to that and uh, listen to you. So why shouldn't those people don't listen to your arguments in your organizations? The second P is of a different kind. It's about passion. I believe that people who want to be accountable uh, will have more effect if they add some passion to it. Passion meaning eagerness, curiosity, and the energy to go for it. Without passion, you might end up with results that are OK, technically speaking. But passion is the fuel to get even better results. The E is for empathy. Empathy is about trying to understand other people's feeling, feel what they feel, feel what they think, and use that understanding to guide your actions. If you don't use empathy within accountability, it's like you say, OK, um, the operation was a success, but the patient died. Um, the A is for acceptance. Acceptance is about accepting that you make mistakes once in a while. If you want to be accountable, it's all about doing the right things and doing them right. And if you do that, you follow the plan, do, check, check, act cycle, which means that you're probably going to discover that you made some mistakes somewhere. Please accept that. Mistakes are no problem as long as you learn from them. And last but not least, uh, leadership. Leadership is about intrinsic motivation. It's about influencing behavior. It's about decision making. It's about communicating. It's about fact finding. It's about relationship management. There's a leader in everyone. It's not just a job for the CEO. OK, um, during the last few years, I've seen that a lot, of com uh, a lot of organizations who added appeal to accountability have grown. 
I think that's what we all should do, be our own accountability models. By taking responsibility and see it as an opportunity for growth by taking in the human factors. As I pointed out earlier in the example of my family, a number is just a number if you don't add the context. So please stop counting and act appealing. Thank you.